So one of the all-time classic Halo modes is finally back in Halo Infinite. Well, for at least a limited amount of time. And that mode being Team Snipers. Now there have been some weird things going on with Team Snipers in Halo Infinite as Team Snipers initially launched with only snipers actually being like 25% of the available game modes, which is a interesting choice to say the least. But looking at the game list here, I'm just seeing snipers and shiny snipes. So like you'll be using a sniper rifle when playing Team Snipers. Crazy concept, I know. Now we still have some challenges left to get the Foxwood Seal Armor Coating, which I would say looks quite nice for itself. And just like how Lincoln Park said it, let's get one step closer to getting this armor coating. I'm pretty sure those are the lyrics. Oh my God, we're playing on Aquarius. So like the first like two seconds, this is gonna be the entire team dead from sniping each other. So let's see if we can put some damage in and make the best out of a terrible situation. Oh, we got one. Do we Eagle Peak with one shot left? We do. Oh, we got a hit marker on that dude. All I can see was his head. Oh, and his shoddy snipes here too. By the way, check out the sweet death hex coating that we got it here on the, on the shotgun. Got that from watching the HCS last weekend, which again was amazing. Seriously, some of the best Halo I've ever seen played was happening last weekend between FaZe Clan and Optic. Oh, it was so good. Literally went down to the wire, down to the last kill, last second, everything in between. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time watching it. It was incredible. No, oh, well, that's like that. That was good dude, that face was. And we got another one, even though it got cleaned up, but it's cool anyways. That's one thing we definitely can test out a lot more in this gameplay in particular, is how the recently updated the no-scoping with the sniper rifle, so it will actually land where you're aiming. It's just a crazy concept, I know, to think about where you line up your reticle, that's where the shots will actually go, but in Halo Infinite, they were like, well, maybe what if we didn't do that? And we certainly saw that on display with the HCS last week, and I saw a lot of people hitting their no-scopes with the sniper rifle. Oh god. Unlike me, which was just, well, you just saw. But we might try to be a little bit more no scopey this match just to kind of test it out for ourselves. Like right there, that was actually a rather forgiving no scope, I would say. That was actually kind of crazy that it landed. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, I love it. We are playing on mouse and keyboard, so it might be a little easier to kind of line it up. I mean, I think there still is a little bit of aim assist, if I remember correctly, on the no scoping of the sniper rifle. Could be wrong about that. We landed another one. It's almost like it's meant to go where you're aiming. That's kind of crazy. Now, three, four, three, three. Oh, shoot. I don't know what happened there with my my hands. It, it wasn't me. It was somebody else took over the mouse and keyboard. Oh, come on. Give me that second one, man. Let's see. The no scopes are landing, though. It's, this update was actually very helpful to actually have your shots land where you uh, want them to go. I just wish that I was able to shoot people better. But yeah, 343 stated actually that the no scopes for the sniper rifle were in line with traditional Halo, which is kind of weird to think about because, well, it definitely wasn't feeling like that as a player. Oh my God, my face got destroyed. I feel like half the time I would line up a shot perfectly and it would just not go where it was aiming. But this time around, it actually does feel like that, which is really cool. Just kind of wish the update kind of came around a little bit sooner than it actually did. But, you know, we are where we are right now when it comes to Halo. Oh, get him out of here. You crouching little nerd. Crouch sniping with camo. Oh, get him out of here. Let's get a third one. Let's get a third one. Let's get a third one. Oh, I almost wanted to be cool right there. I tried. You know, it was for the content, but it just didn't exactly work out in my favor. Oh, I saw you. I'm helping on my team right there. I saw you take him out. I'm like, I know you're going to walk forward. Everyone just holds W in social. You got some guys over here in fridge making some noise. Looks like not anymore. You can tell by the way he is. We just tied it up 40-40. Oh my god, the matchmaking. The skill-based matchmaking is kicking in hard, guys. So that match is being this close. Can't give him any angles. We're up by two. There we go. We added to it. I'm going to help you out, Neon. Trust me. It's going to work. It's going to be great. The teamwork's going to be fantastic. As long as, as long as he peaks like that, there we go. And we got a no-scope. We tied it up 49, 49. And we get the top. You love to see it. All right, how many steps closer did we get here? Let's see it. And we got two challenges complete. We're making our way forward. So yeah, sniping feels a lot better now in Halo Infinite, especially with that no-scope update. You saw what stuff I was landing. This stuff probably wouldn't have landed previously. Now, Ranked Halo Infinite recently just received an update where it's based solely off of CSR when it comes to your matchmaking. How does that work out and how does it play? Well, check out this video right here and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.